Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, episode 18 for our series here. Let's begin. Last time we left off, we had drove our APC all the way over here to a public washroom, and we were getting ready to kind of do a little bit of exploring. Now, I don't know if I want to head out just yet. There might be some zombies nearby. Maybe we should wait until nightfall. That'll at least afford us the opportunity to... Potentially uh, get some rest and, or um, get some ex exploration in there. I want to make sure that uh, everything's are turned off. And it is. I should turn off the camera system then. As I imagine that also burns battery. And we can go ahead and we can eat and drink. We've got this jerky that we grabbed up. What else do we got here? Some cooked meat. And do we have anything to drink? Mm, crisp cranberry and that did it there so since there's some light we can go ahead and do a little bit of reading I just got to remember where I grabbed or where I set the books there we go um, outdoor survival guide survival level 3 did we finally get that we should be close no we're 10% at it so we're not even close Well, we can read some more under the hood, I guess. There we go, and it's dark. So we'll drop that off. Easy enough, and let's head out and do a little bit of exploring. We're looking for some more diesel fuel for sure. That's gasoline. Also, I should makes I should grab um, I'll come back for the gallon jugs if we find diesel fuel let me drop a few things off that I know I don't really need on me again all of this does need to be sorted out at some point but we're not gonna get it just yet but slowly over time we'll get there okay Gasoline, battery, clean, water. Okay, so this is actually a RV. Is it in good condition? I guess it's missing its wheels. Because this would be awesome. Because it's got a bed, a stove, and a fridge. So that would actually be perfect. But I think the APC is a little better armored and I can install all those things in the APC so it's not like I'm completely missing out. Here we go. Uh, for West Hartford area, but has long since eroded beyond the usefulness. There are small holders for tourist maps attached. Okay. What do we got here? Gasoline. It's an ambulance. Might be some medical supplies in the back. I've seen it before. Plastic bottle of disinfectant. Now, these are just boxes, which we could actually take off and put inside our vehicle since they hold a lot more so that's something to consider okay nothing there but fresh water and a talking doll which is kind of creepy yeah I think that's it a couple trees oh here we go Empty. Bummer. Thought we might get really lucky. So it looks like there is in fact no diesel fuel here, which is really unfortunate. I was really hoping, I was counting on that RV. Well, we can definitely go ahead and uninstall and install some things into here. So why don't we go ahead and take these seats out. 
I will need to drop my expendable baton. We'll have to move some of this stuff somewhere else to make room. Yes, this is. Oh, I need to grab my pliers. I'm coming over here on this side of the vehicle because I want to get it. One tool with bolt turning of two or more. What do the pliers have then? Only one? Oh boy. Well, what else? What has bolt turning two? Guess I'm not gonna be doing this. You know, the fastest way to do this would have been just stand in between these seats and see if I could do it. No, I want this. Yeah, I don't have a tool with bolt turning two of, or more. I guess we're not grabbing any of this stuff, but we can always come back. All right, we're heading up the heading up the road. That means. We're heading up the road and see where it takes us. What is that? Oh boy. Well, there's another APC here at least. Yep, should have saw that. Definitely reverse. Oh, well, so a vehicle with a bunch of, so there's our diesel fuel, but there is fungus nearby, um, so I don't know what to do. If I can't even get the... I need to turn the dome on him. Hurting here. That doesn't help. I'm gonna turn around. I really think I can jump out quick. Oh, it's a different type of vehicle. I'm, I think I can jump out quick and grab and siphon this stuff. I really think I can. Let me move right up next to it though and put the vehicle between or put the yeah put the vehicle between me and the fungaloid I don't know if this is a good idea or not but we're gonna give it a shot because I need this so what do we got for a vehicle mechanized infantry carrier so essentially an APC it doesn't have very much fuel probably had a lot more till I smashed into it missing seats and stuff so it's no good 
UPS compatible recharging station. That's pretty awesome. And all boxes and whatnot. So definitely a mechanized infantry carrier. Oh boy, yeah, I'm bummed out that I bumped into that and spilled all that diesel. It looks like there was a lot there. Okay, let's get what little diesel we can out of it though, because I think if I take a look, yeah, we're definitely running out quick now. Just whatever I can get. If I get one gallon jug, I get one. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't pick up my baton. Oh my god, no. I dropped it on the ground. I completely forgot it. Okay, let's let's siphon this. Get what we can get out of it. We need a hose. I didn't pick up the hose, huh? Where was it? Okay, I got one gallon jug and one hose. Should be enough. Just do the vehicle tank. There we go. It's a little bit better. Can I get some more out? 450, that's it. It's a little bit better. It'll get us going. So tough to find diesel sometimes. Yeah, I gotta head back and get my baton. Huh? Oh, there we go. Too heavy for its engines. Did I blow an engine? How would I have done that? Crashing into that, maybe? You would have thought like a po military composite armor would have taken it well. How many engines do I have? One V6 4.0 liter engine diesel. And that should be it. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. There, it's going now. Okay, turn on headlights. Just leave the camera system off. It does us no good. Let's go back and get our baton real quick. Then we'll continue. I want to get out of here before I get sick. I'm not sure if I'm already sick or what. Right there it is. Just grab it real quick and be done. Um, and then for that, we're going to keep heading that way. That just makes sense. There's an engine right there. But I especially want to keep moving because I want to stay away from this all these fungaloids or whatever they are. Those are those are no good. Was it 9:57 p.m.? I hate that I can't see very well out of this. Okay, we don't know what we're going into. So we're going to find out the hard way, I guess. I really can't see anything like this. I guess the camera system does me no good. More fungus still. How far do I have to go to get away from these guys? I guess the correct answer would be farther than where I'm at now. Here we go. Looks like we're coming up on a town. This is definitely a town, so we found another town. I don't think I should just drive right through it. It 
looks like it could be a pretty good sized town. Let's go ahead and park here. Make sure I got everything off and I do. I don't doubt I won't be bombarded by zombies almost instantly. That's not the SWAT vehicle anymore. It's right. Well, we'll just leave that there anyways. There we go. I figured that was going to happen. Fight these guys off. Oh, boy. Okay, I made too much noise, clearly. Coming in with the vehicle. Well, this is a good chance for me to get <laughs> some skill raising. And then after that, we need to move. Because I've made a terrible mistake. If we're going to hit this town, we're going to have to hit it from far away. We're definitely not going to be able to just roll right up to it in a vehicle. It's not going to happen like that. Um, but there's way too many fungus around here, so... Keep going straight. I just want to see how far the town kind of comes up here. If I can at least get like an idea for the borders. Okay, there is a house of some sorts. Slow down. What the heck is this? Chunk of steel? Oh, crap. I know the vehicle makes a lot of noise, so I figure it's going to pull a lot of zombies, but I'm getting a lot of bad luck. These bashing weapons is almost four. Okay, there we go. Now this is another house. Yeah, so the town does come up this far. What is this? Air conditioning unit. This is a really big house. Is this a farm right here? Too cold to plant anything, so it is. And this is the garage. Okay, cool. So this is a pretty big house. That's the driveway, so the garage actually isn't shut. There is a basement. All right, we'll take a look around then. Okay. Maybe this house doesn't really spawn anything. I've seen those before. Usually the player generated houses, which this definitely is one. But that doesn't mean it can't be a good place for us to make camp, even if there's nothing in here. It's especially a good place to make camp for that reason. There's not very many windows. And there's an upstairs, which means the bedrooms will be up here where I can do crafting at night time or during the day. But yes, I do think this is one of those houses that don't spawn anything. But there if there's a fireplace, that would actually be perfect. That'd be the one thing I was lacking. I don't think there is. No blankets either, but still a comfortable place to stay. Ah. 
Boy, there's a lot of bedrooms. What the heck is this? It's a lot of standing mirrors. That's kind of creepy. Okay, well. It's an okay house. I mean, it's a place to stay f uh, during the day. It's still pretty early in the night, though, so I don't need to stay there now, but... Let's find my vehicle. Here it is. And we'll eat. Because we can. And we'll mark that. Oh, no, it's this one here. We'll mark that as explored. So we haven't actually hit that house next to there. So, okay. So we are out of time for this one. Um, I don't know how big this town is. It's hard to say right now. It looks like if it cuts off here, it's possible it could dip farther down or it could go real far to the east. Uh, but I really don't know. Uh, it could also be just a handful of houses. I guess we'll find out uh, as we do some more exploring into it and uh, as daylight comes. But we'll stay up by this house we're at right now because it's probably a safe place to be. And we can hit some of the houses nearby uh, throughout the night. And then we'll be able to stay inside either the vehicle or this house uh, during the day. Just depending on whatever uh, seems convenient. Uh, I think either is really a good option. The vehicle actually might be a little bit safer because I could do reading and crafting inside of here. And all my supplies is in here. And if anything, I can go inside the house and use that to be able to bust up the beds for rags and other supplies so that is the plan however i want to thank you guys for joining me i do hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you next time